God morning to you. Aha. Um, Monday. Monday, Monday. My wife and I have um, had so much fun with me having uh, this tooth uh, being, was pulled on Thursday, but wasn't really sure that was what was the problem. I don't know what's going on in my mouth. Had a lot of teeth work done. A lot of dental work done um, two, three years ago. And now it's time to get it finished up. And so, you know what teeth pain are like. Teeth, oh, y'all know like teeth. I had someone tell me, um, I think it was someone down in Florida. They're, they're Southern, uh, Mississippi folks. Uh, Pensacola, Florida folks are anyway. Alabama. Um, what was it? Oh, a toothache, a toothache make you want to kill your neighbor. What? Are you serious right now? Um, to, I had to leave church. I did not because I wanted to kill anyone, but um, I didn't want y'all to see me that ill. <laughs> I felt so dizzy. I mean, like I was gonna fall over. I'm just a dancing. No, y'all see me? I'll go to a drop. I don't care. I don't care. I'll go to a drop. I did it in the world, son. Let me tell you, I, I did it till I dropped. Did it till I dropped. And um, I'll do it in the church until I drop. Anyway, um, I think what one really cool thing that we're gonna be doing with my mug, this right here, Radio Face. Um, these are Stop Suicide postcards of Radio Face. Um, you know, just telling you Stop it. Don't do it. Instead, you know, go to the bathroom or take a shower or something. That's something you can do. You can do that. Now go. But don't kill yourself. Don't think about it. It's stupid. Dumb. I mean, everything that's cool brings life. Everything that's dumb, stupid brings death. It's good. But you know something else about... Uh, here, this is crazy. I'm just now in the very first week of reading the, the new, the Bible again, again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. So I just started over, and uh, man, I'm flying through this one so fast that I've already finished it, come back. I'm stuck on, I'm stuck on you. I got a feeling down deep, and I just can't do And I'm on my way. I'm mighty glad you stayed. <laughs> I needed a friend. Ooh, that's so creepy. Here I am, <laughs> preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. All of a sudden, this old secular song comes out. Now, listen to me. Um, I come from a distant, far, far away. Um, and, and I'm wanting to put the end to kibosh, to suicide. So these little su uh, postcards are an easy way uh, for me to tell you this. Look, everybody I know that's committed suicide was a surprise. Nobody. Somebody who's suicidal. Um, you don't see them. You don't know, you don't know that they're there. Um, you can't see them. You don't know what's going on with them. What's going on with them is unseen. And um, a lot of these folks don't even have doctors. Um, you know, they a lot of them, majority of them have never even found a, a group, like reached out on Facebook and looked up their symptoms. A lot of these folks have no idea what's going on with them. Um, it took me, uh, oh Lord help me Jesus. I was 17 years old. That's what I'm going to get at today. I'm going to talk to you about um, when what happened to Joseph in Genesis. He was 17. When I was 17, I'd hit my head so many times that I had a head trauma that caused amnesia. And I started completely over. I was a dreaming machine. I am a dreaming machine. Um, the story of Joseph and and how how his how how the, his brothers schemed it from afar off it said just like the prodigal you know from afar off the prodigal the dad's planning a party coming running i mean get the fatted cat man coming daddy for uh-uh old elder brother anyway these brothers of joseph um 
sell him into, they throw him in a pit, take his clothes from him, throw him in the pit. He's 17 years old. I wrote this song, okay? Kind of trumps everything the devil's got, you know. No matter what life throws at you. This is your trump card. My God can heal you. My God can save you. All who are broken, lay down your burden. My God can heal you. My God can save you. All who are broken, lay down your burdens. The devil works for me. The devil works for me. Every time it knocks you down, just get up twice and strong somehow. The devil works for me. The devil works for me. Every time it knocks me down. My God can see you. All who are broken, lay down your burdens. My God can give you. My God can save you. All who are broken, lay down your burdens. Cause the devil works for me. The devil works for me. That's how God separated me, okay? 17 years old, same thing with Joseph. Joseph got separated from, from the 12 tribes of Israel. The children of God! The whole foundational storyline of uh, our salvation, you know? Where we come from and all that good stuff. Now, 17 years old for me, zero. <laughs> You're who? Who's what? What's he? Okay, let's do that again. Who's who? Who's what? What's he? About every 20 seconds then. Who's who? What's what? What's he? Um, and then head on off to basic training just a few days later, I guess, after they said I had temporary amnesia. That's <coughs> probably temporary. Uh, uh, yeah, that martial arts sound you got going on. That's the bottom of my wife's heels, you know, right here next to me. You know what I'm saying? So Joseph got taken by his elder brothers. I was jealous of him. I don't know why. It was probably a slick coat his dad got. You know what it was? His dad had this thing for his mom, Rachel. I mean, he worked his tail end off for that lady and um, and then got his, 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 uh, his aunt. Instead, she had all the babies, and this one never did. And then when she had one, it's Joseph to say, he said, my father, <laughs> my boy. Man, you're a lot better looking than the rest of them. You know, rather scraggly, uh, yeah, never mind. <clears throat> Pale face, whatever. No, no, no. Speak looking. What? Yeah. Pale face. Really? I don't know. Yeah, well, anyhow, um, your friends, here's, here's what I'm getting at. Your friends, <laughs> they're not going to tell you I'm suicidal. I mean, some, I'll tell you, you better listen up. Um, you get surprised. It's always a holy cow, you didn't know it. So here's what I could, could one way that I can uh, interfere with suicide this year is to have all you guys that are decent, like buy these cool postcards with radio face on it. They're telling, hey, look at that. You got a booger in your nose, and I like it. Something like that, you know. Just something simple, right? Anything you want on the back, but just tell them, you know, thinking of them. Get five friends. Five friends, okay? And and mail one of these out to each of those friends. Yeah, five of these postcards 
from stop suicide. The money will go to, you know, stopping suicide. Yeah! That's what we're doing, man. Stopping suicide. Um, yeah, I think it's a great thing. Great, great cause. Do it. A lot of people need to hear uh, that they have someone. You know, we live in a, uh, no one has anyone kind of throw it away, delete, cut it out. Whew. I did it every five years. I got a lot of practice. Um, I've been also living in this, um, what, COVID thing y'all got into. Uh, I've been doing that for a decade before it ever started for y'all. So here we are in the book of Genesis. Uh, Genesis chapter 37, 24. And they took him and cast him into a pit. And the pit was empty. There was no water in it. They sat down to eat bread. They lifted up their eyes and looked. And behold, a company of Ishmaelites <laughs> came from Ishmael, you guys. Oh, my Lord. Here we go. When you get to knowing the storyline and where these guys come from and, and uh, the, the screw-ups that we are from. I'm telling you, you can't get holy. Don't you, don't you try it, son. Uh, you know where we come from? Scumbags! Um, where is the, the, the line? Jesus, the, the Judah. Holy, but Zanoli, Zanoli. Look at his son. Um, uh, it's... Ungodly to the core. Um, the 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 bloodline that oh my lord it's 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 God takes out of the thickest of darkness he he, he shows up and he turns what the devil meant for bad into something good. Here I'll show you. So they sold him. They did all this to, to their brother Joseph. Um, uh, Ju Judah uh, talked him out, I believe it was Judah, talked him out of like hurting him and drawing blood on him. Um, and then they sold him to these Ishmaelites and took him to Egypt. And he ends up going to prison for, I don't know how long, two times or something. It was, uh, it was a, a long period of time. Um, but he was blessed by God because of his dreams and um, he, he was a great ruler of Egypt, and a big famine come over the land, and and it affected everyone, even in, over in Canaan, where um, where uh, Israel, all them munchkins were, all these heathens, uh, the children of Israel, I mean murderers, was it Cain and Abel? That's us eleven against you. Bad news, man. Um, and that's yet yeah, that's uh, you know that's what God has uh, chosen. He's chosen these folks. And um, I just like to point out at 17 years old when this happened to Joseph, um, his whole life changed. His his uh, perception of of what he had surrounding him changed. He's now a slave instead of like his his father was wealthy. I mean this. This, this was a blessed family. Um, he was a blessed, a blessed young man, like a prince. And then suddenly, a slave. And then in prison as a slave. And then he got became a, uh, one of the greatest rulers there and had dreams that that saved Egypt. Um, and the the Pharaoh had dreams and he interpreted them. Um, I believe that's how it goes. If my memory serves me right. <laughs> See that, that, that back there, that badge, that badge of honor, that brain on my flag. <laughs> Don't laugh like that. It's creepy. <clears throat> that gives me, you know, that warrants my behavior. Wife, you are amazingly beautiful. Thank you. Yes. Yes, you. You are my wife. Oh. Oh, I didn't hear you saying wife. Oh. Bochanet. Bochanet. 
Yeah. Better watch your mouth. Like, like mindig reggel van. Jó reggelt. Jó reggelt. Jó reggelt. Jó reggelt. Anyhow, um, so I, I, I was just reading this today and um, the devil works for me. The song I just sang. How, how Joseph, here is, let's see, 38... So later on, uh, the famine hits the land. I don't remember where it was. Good grape. I wanted to read it, but here, I'll just tell you the story. Later on, the, the brothers have to come over to get uh, feed from Egypt. They heard that there was feed being you know, handed out and um, during this great famine. And... Uh, Here's Joseph standing for his brothers asking. And Joseph's over the whole entire thing. And these guys come from other country needing food. And um, they come before him and he realizes who it is. They don't notice who he is. A uh, whole big story goes, you know, he starts wanting to see his younger brother. He wants to know if his dad's alive. And he's not wanting them to know who he is. So um, he did a few things to try to get that to happen. Kept one of the brothers and and uh, sent them back um, to get information or bring their dad or the other brother that he was uh, talking about. And um, through all that, when they finally revealed himself, those brothers were scared to death. They knew what he did to him. He said, I'm, I'm Joseph, your brother that you sold to Egypt. <laughs> I just got here. Look at me. I'm standing before you today. I'm telling you, I laid it out. This was all uh, uh, 17. Joseph took off. <laughs> Unbeknownst to them, um, was he a thriving, blessed man of God? You can't put a thriving, blessed man of God down and God's going to use everything he does. So where you threw him in the fire, uh, God made a big gold nugget. Boom. And they came back and fed off of it. They came back and lived. The whole, all of Israel, all the children of God, the whole entire story moves from there on out is due to what Joseph being in Egypt, what they meant for bad. They, saw, they, they were going to murder him, and instead they sold him as a slave into Egypt to never see or hear from him again. And that man was a, 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 a child of God. That man was called of God. His life, what the devil meant for bad, Joseph said, God turned it for good. He, you, what, what you meant, he looked at those boys and as they're scared to death, they're going to get it. You know, he's like, yeah, don't you worry about it. What, look, what you meant for evil, God turned it for good. He saved the whole nation. He saved all of the children of Israel. His own family. It's amazing. It's an incredible story. And um, I like what my work, what, what I do with the Word of God is fulfill it. I'm going to fulfill it. You know what I mean? I like to jump in there and go, why, yeah, that's a executive he in the hanging And I take a right step. Hey! Look! Hey! Look! Look! Right! Hey! Getting stepped with the word of God and then all of a sudden all this mighty powerful stuff follows it's it's the word of God it's how it works it's how you defeat this world this mindset this uh, ah, bondage that everyone's in and I, I can't I can't I can't I can't matter of fact I have I have I've shown you how to how I did it slipped to <laughs> Right up out of my old body, my old life, and here four years later, sitting in front of you, sharing the, how the Word of God fulfills in my life. I see the Word of God in my life. I see it in the story. It says right here, I'm 17 years old when this happened. So at first, my first life, okay, boom. I've known this Bible for my whole life, and I've never known it said he was 17. Anyway, till today, that's how it works. 
My brain, that is. And the Bible. You'll find that to be true. It's too low. It's loaded with just way too many juicy details that you can't you can't put it all together um, overnight. You just keep falling in love with it over and over, over and over, over and over again. And it gets deeper and deeper as the days go by. Oh, what a da 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 da! I get falling in love with it over and over, over and over. I think it's the word of God. I know it is. Um, it's so neat. I love it. So that's how I apply 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 it to my life. And it sit, sits in my story of uh, you know uh, amnesia came along. And that whole story, look at that. It took me down a deep, dark road. Over a five-year period, a, a seven-year period after that, I lost my marriage and my and my uh, fir my first marriage. My, the whole entire thing gone. All, all my life, um, everything I had put my effort into, I didn't think there would ever be any outside life other than that. And then all of a sudden, no, gone. Five years again, 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 five years again, again, again. I mean, I had it over and over and over and over. And um, it was not normal. It was not me. It was <laughs> It was the worst nightmare anyone could have been on. But it was just, when I looked back at what, like how I lived my life. I, I was a rock star. Um, I lived, I, 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 I just lived, man. He said, how do you do that? I don't know. I just did it. Just did it. It's like walking on water. I can't tell you how I did it. I just said, you know, one decided to walk on water. I said, hey, boom, just decided to be a rock star. Wow. Um, amen. I followed, um, I'm a Jesus uh, fan. I, I, I followed Jesus all the way and... He's done too much for me that uh, I cannot tell it all. I cannot tell it all. I cannot tell it all. Well, he's done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. He has done so much for me. <whistles> Old school apostolic. Two, that's me. Um, I love how God uh, used me. For this amazing, uh, this this 22 suicides a day with the vets is about to come to an end. And that's a really low number, by the way. It's not a real number. It's just a catchy number. Um, it's not the truth. The truth is much higher. Uh, we're going to put an end to this by educating. I mean, it's, it's power and understanding and knowing who we are and what our capabilities uh, are, what our minds are capable of, what our thoughts actually are, you know, when we have these thoughts. I mean, you can't, you realize this, you can't kill yourself without thinking about it. You can't. You can't. If you accidentally die, but that ain't killing yourself. So you know. Um, <clears throat> killing yourself from your ignorance is like, look, God saves me from my ignorance all the time. And it's not really my ignorance because I know better. That's why my mama will tell you, I taught him better than that. Um, so it isn't my ignorance. It's my brokenness that I can't. <laughs> I don't condone nor condemn, okay? I, I, that isn't my position. I, happy is he who condemneth not himself and the things he allows. I'll, I'll tell you this much, I don't condemn or, or condone. I just know that I got a heart that serves God, that loves God, and give him all I got. Um, he gives me all I need. I'm never, uh, I, I'm, I'm a, a man who, who has experienced enough to know that he is the source and the, the source of my peace, my joy. Um, he brings it all together. And I just, uh, I like sharing it with you guys. Um, that's what come at me today. God morning to you. Joseph.
17. It's the Word of God just coming alive um, in my life. Look at how I, my life, I maneuvered through my life of disaster, of bondage, of, of you know, of, of, I lost, I lost people throughout my life due to my head injuries that no one could understand. You know, as time goes through and people get to grasping what was happening to me, I, 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 I believe and foresee reconciliation with many, 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 many folks. I think that the, the most important thing about who my character is throughout my life is that I, I'm, I got some longevity and I, I want, I want to sustain relationship. I want to sustain friendship. I want, uh, I want to sustain, uh, uh, memory you know i want your your story if you're in my life at any part of my of my life is my story it, your your perception of what was going on um without knowing what was going on had a, had so much to do with uh, the all the all of the reality surrounding uh any of the time that i spent with anyone so re reconciliation, uh, that's what Jesus, Jesus is that, he's the, the, he, this is his ministry. I mean, this is what the, the, the ministry of reconciliation is something that, um, oh, I, I, there is nothing that feels better than, than when my parents and I began to um, reconcile. It's just nothing better than, than, than finding out perceptions were tainted on both sides, you know, and there's understanding and 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 forgiveness, like like just waiting. Just they they don't even know that it, that it, it, it you know there it's it's amazing how perception. Um, when I'm, I'm talking about this because of Joseph. Joseph, when as he spent all this time over there in in Egypt, you know his 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 memory of his brothers are they 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 couldn't stand him. They they hated him so bad that they stripped him of his clothes and threw him in a pit and and uh, sold him to Egypt. His his mind. Um, His the vengeance inside of him, you know. That you know, you know what? When someone hurts you, how it stews you, you stew on it. And man, I'm telling you, you can get a, call hell, fire, and brimstone on down on people. Make you know, burn them in hell. I said, pray for them. You know, do something good for them. I put hot coals on her head. No, burn them. Uh, it's like Jonah. I said, burn them. Burn them. <laughs> we need to start showing forgiveness and understanding that um, that's how I get to heaven. I'm telling you, I'm so glad certain people are living. So, I mean, like, they get me to heaven. I need to forgive somebody. I need a lot of forgiveness. I lived on the Dark side of Hill Street for 27 years. Hey, Fru, how'd you like that one? That's the first time I ever used it. I lived on the dark side of Hill Street for 27 years. Uh-oh, 27. You like it? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, good morning to you. I think that's about it. I was just uh, kind of drawn away. I think I got drawn away into this Joseph story. Um, I want to bring it all together, though. What, what the devil meant, for, what these old jokers meant for, for bad. They wanted to hurt the old sucker. This man was a blessed man of God. Woo! He was seeing prophetically. Dream, little dream. Of me. I'll have you know, uh, Martha Lee Carson, my mother, <clears throat> dreaming, machining. Um, 
I've been known, and so has Pastor V here in uh, Bethlehem, Mississippi, been known uh, to be in her dreams. I've been known to, uh, like, bro, blowing them off. <laughs> what? Uh, and then at myself, I'm playing, you know, I've dreamed my own dreams. Which happened to also be the same, you know, dream machine that her dreams come from. So the whole point of me being here and and in and in the place I'm at right now, doing what I'm doing with the story that I've got behind me is all set up by a creator. I, I love it. He's the author and the finisher of my faith. There's no way that I could have done any of this without him. There's no way I could have lived through <laughs> there's God has given me so much evidence. I have not got one ounce of malarkey in me. I like it. And right now, I'm going to let you know that my tooth, yeah, and here, it feels like I'm blowing out my ear. It just started um, showing up again. So I've been fighting that, get, trying to figure out what's going on with my... Uh, my tooth, jaw, head, whatever it is. Um, and I dropped in to tell you, I love you. And it's how I told you I love you in 31 minutes. Joseph's life uh, was in shambles. I mean, he sat in prison for seven years, I think it was. Um, I, I'm, I'm not, a, I didn't study this message up. That's something I would do, but I, I just don't. Um, I allow, I'm not a preacher, I'm a songwriter, I'm a singer, I'm a, um, I sing my messages, I, I like to portray them in a lot of different ways, but I'm not a preacher, so, um, you guys pick this message up, man, y'all preach this stuff, you guys, I'm surrounded by really good preachers, and Joseph's life, uh, resembles mine in so many ways, where he went to Egypt, I was in Egypt, man, I, I, I owned it all. I did. I had. I lived a, a, an amazing life, full of loss, though, full of hurt. Man, I was so. I missed my family. I missed all those I was separate from. But see, God chose to separate me. In that, he. That's how Joseph got separated. And when, when there's separation. There's there's. What what pastor preached last night? After separation comes new. A new level. Of New level of creation. Um, and so that's what we're, we're experiencing, the fulfilled word of God in my life. I'm sharing it with you. Uh, the way I, the, I've got preaching in my blood. Sons and daughters, that's just, uh, I'm so close to it and so surrounded by it that my life is a preaching machine. I am a preaching machine. Um. I love watching God heal me, and I'm get, getting to do better and better. Y'all better watch out. When I said, when the Lord takes over, he says that when he straightens that boy up <clears throat> enough where y'all don't see how, you know, injured I am so much that you give me a microphone. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. You'll regret it. Um, unless, you know, unless I, unless I okay it. The Lord said, let there be a microphone. And David said, no, thank you. I remember when I was in Lafayette, uh, my dad asked me to testify or something, but it, I just got a surprise hit with a mic. And I was like, why is it he to have a way? He, I've had way too many like stories or visions or something in my head of me saying cuss words and slipping up and saying stuff. But I, I did the first time I went into the lighthouse, which was an AA place. You know, you, you say it. You, you you can't say God in there, but you can cuss. I said I said cuss words. They said don't. <laughs> they were heard I was an apostolic uh, preacher's kid or whatever. Or come in now, oh, don't just don't start preaching that Jesus that say, man, I don't know. I'm cussing. That that year seventy two people through that place got baptized. One young man that I went in there after, I just talked to him the other last time I visited Indiana. And uh he's still going at it. Still fighting the fight, man.
But he was a drunk. Drunk. Yeah, man. Listen. Well, no, he wasn't. I won't tell you what he was. I'll let I'll let Daniel tell you what he was. He's got to come on here and testify sometime. All right, Fru. You ready? in a parable I will what a dark saying of old do not hide them from your children always show generations to come Um, 39 minutes, 42 seconds. God bless y'all. Have a wonderful day. Uh, let what Joseph said here, uh, what you meant for evil, what God meant for good. Look at this, what's happening, what, what, what that concussion and CTE and, and suicide meant for evil in my life. God's turned it for good. And uh, I'm here to save folks. I'm here to entertain you. I'm here to show you God's real. I'm here to inspire you. I'm here to get it, get it, get it. Get some of God. All right, have a good one.